That's uh, almost the last song of the night there at that it's, concert. We're almost done. We got yeah, all, almost we're almost there. done. Almost there. This, ladies and gentlemen, is none other than Charlie Byers. The one, the only. The one, the only, <laughs> and Charlie is infamous at this Monterey on Tonight program because if you look over here, you see this. I got he's one. got one of the I shirts on just like me, and that means he's part of our team. This is Team Charlie, or no, Wendy call us, called us now. We're Team Morris. Team Morris. Team Morris. Team Morris. Yeah, right. And yeah. Charlie is our um, account executive for KMBY TV and Me TV Monterey. And met. he has been working very hard, working overtime with Ben Beasley and Shannon because. You sold them a flight on MeTV, and you guys are going to go shoot the video pretty soon. Right? That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, they're you know great people, of course. And uh, Shannon's, of course, been the co-host, and Ben's been guest on here. And they uh, are not only Monterey Peninsula Chamber, but the Carmel Chamber of Commerce last year, 2022, best realtor on the Monterey Peninsula. Yeah, and that's saying something. That's saying uh, there's, there's a lot, lot of realtors, realtors out of here on the Monterey Peninsula. And you've Peninsula. met them here in this studio. Exactly, a number of them, right? Yeah, we've had a lot yeah. of them on this uh, so, TV show. A great couple, and they just uh, they just welcomed a new daughter, oh. Addison, just recently. And Boy, so that you, was very you know, exciting. You know the name, too? You know the baby's Pretty name? Pretty good, huh? You know? Man, I mean, I, you're I, something I must, else. I must really want this account. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're great people. They're really so you're very go, involved you're in the community. You're going to go do the commercial now. Now, and then we're going to be showing that on we'll this show. We'll be showing it on this on this show that yeah. we're playing here and on MeTV. Yeah, absolutely. Big his big account. The big team Beasley. Team Beasley, and uh, that's they, where I got the idea for Team Morris. That's right. Yeah. See, yeah. It's, it works. Team Beasley, and they just took over recently. And uh, Keller Williams, the, the over in Carmel. The, yeah, they, that uh, in Carmel. They've got a beautiful little place uh, downtown boutique office, and then they're Bigger office just across the highway Our there. Rancho right by the Boulevard. Rancho Boulevard, right right yeah. over there. But Charlie's claim to fame now. You know, we had, in fact, we switched videos tonight for Charlie uh. because we knew Charlie was going to be a guest on the show tonight. And so we were going to do J Lo tonight. But Charlie said, Can we do Tony Bennett Tony tonight Bennett. since I'm going to be a guest yeah. on this show? And I said, Of course. I never met J Lo. Yeah. So. <laughs> But you got to meet Tony Bennett. Let's show that picture, Dylan. There we are. Oh my is that, goodness! Which Who one? That who's guy? that one on the other side there? Yeah, who's that now, guy? what year was this? This is 1992. 92. And this is actually two days before my 30th birthday. Oh my goodness! I was in goodness. New York City doing yeah. a trade show. Yeah. And the person I was doing it with, uh, kind of at their booth together, a different company. Um, they told me um, they're going out. So you want to go have a drink after the show? Uh, well, I'm going to go to dinner. We're going to meet uh, my girlfriend is dating Tony Bennett at the time dating. Him. I said, you, Tony what? Bennett, Tony the, Bennett, the that Tony one? Bennett. Yeah, I said, I'm a big fan. So I'm agreeing with envy. And, and I actually met him when they were headed out, but I didn't get to go. So I went to my hotel How'd room you get that by picture? myself. Well, this was then we did meet. And we uh, the next night oh. ended up having dinner with him. Uh, he was recording "Perfectly Frank," the Frank Sinatra tribute album. Uh -huh. And uh, so he a little late came up and met us. Little hole in the wall Italian place up in uh, Upper East Side for dinner, sitting just right across the table talking to Tony. Well, it turned out to be kind of a very amazing, my favorite year, my favorite two years, amazing uh, experience in life. I got to hang. Out, I got to see him a couple times, a few well, a few times in New York and a few times in San Francisco. Uh -huh. And I said, the, one of the he he'd come out and we go to some concerts here, and they went back to a concert there and backstage and out see some people at Village Vanguard. Well, my favorite story, San Francisco. We was doing a private concert at the St. Francis Hotel down in Union Square, and uh, for a company, and my buddy and I, John, went, and uh, so. Afterwards, we were in the front, and we went back uh, backstage. And Tony said he always called me Charles. So said, Charles. So Charles, let's go get a drink, which for him was a wine spritzer. And said, so, "Well, my friend had a great wine bar right around the corner, Mason Street Wine Bar, neat, nice little place. It'd be perfect for him." So uh, he, I said, "Well, okay, Tony, let's go get a drink, Charles. That's fine, but the people here kind of want to talk to you. The people with the company, they uh -huh. meet you, and you know, yeah. backstage course. Okay, okay, okay." 
He's a very gracious person. Always he, very I've nice. Heard that. Very, yeah. very he gracious. Was really a gracious so guy. So comes back a few minutes. Okay, Charles, let's go. Let's go. I said, just a few more minutes, Tony. The people want to meet you. It's a couple. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Next time he could get a little stern, even though, you know, let's go, Charles. Okay, okay. So <laughs> let's go, Charles. And I said, you know, I've been, I've been with him in New York. It took 30 minutes to walk half a block because oh, people stopped. Stop and stop what are we going to do? We just had a concert full of people. They're going to yeah. be downstairs. Yeah. Everybody recognizes him. I got to get him up just a block and a half around the corner. It was right out of a Martin Scorsese, the Goodfellas movie or something. So I said, okay, freight elevator. Let's go, Tony. We're going, my buddy and I. It's, and that's it's how operating you through the kitchen, through the kitchen, through the chefs, everybody cooking in the kitchen. We're walking him through the kitchen, out the side door, and up to my uh, my buddy's wine bar, who was oh, not expecting it. it was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, awesome. uh, pretty awestruck. When you that, walk, uh, walk yeah, in with, when with you Tony, walk in with a celebrity like Tony so, Bennett, that was just a, a, a magical story. Like, wow, that's right out of a now. Movie. How did you get that picture? Because in those oh. days, people didn't have cameras. Well, and their phones. I don't know if you can see on there. Oh, you can see. See the little time date there? Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't have a cell phone in 92. How did, how they, did had a, they do that? That was a camera. That was a real That's camera. A regular that took camera. That so I just, all I did is take a picture for this picture with but, my phone now. Oh, and that's how I, I got it digital. Okay, so, so it's just you took that's a, picture a hard picture, of hard a picture, regular picture that you used to. But I mean, where did you out. get the camera to take this original picture? Did you have it with you? Oh yeah, yeah. You, what oh, was sure, it? A little brownie, well, a little, little Kodak brownie, silly or something? little camera, yeah, ah. silly little camera, and so yeah, it's See. that was in actually that was in his. Uh, well, Susan Crow, they be, later got married. Then they were just they were dating, they were just dating, and that was her apartment that we had. Oh my! I think it was just goodness. before we were headed out to. He was always supporting uh, local singers. You know up. what's really interesting about this picture is that you were very fortunate that you had that camera to be able to. Oh memorialize the meeting of Tony Bennett. Right, right. Well, it's, you know, the cameras back then, of course, yeah, you had to have them. They had, what, 27 pictures on them. Something. You had a uh, roll of film, uh, and you had to have a flash. I have a flash. You had to have a have flash. flash now, was there. this camera that you used, did it have the electronic flash in it, where you put batteries in and then the flash will go many times, or did you actually have to put a flash bulb? That in was built in, right? Not the. It yeah, was, I remember. Yeah, the, I know those. Do bulbs. you remember yeah, back? Yeah, sure. You get a little pack of bulbs, right? That would come. Yep. Need to put them in. Yep. No, See how was, old I am? This is built in. <laughs> yeah. I remember <laughs> flash bulbs. <laughs> I remember flash bulbs. What does that say about me? There we go. That, Dylan, uh, do you remember flash, remember flash bulbs? bulbs? Know he knows about it. Heard about it. Seen him, seen him on the <laughs> internet. See, yeah, right. I, I, <laughs> I remember. And that. you know, a flashbulb only worked one time, Dylan, and then you had yeah. to throw it away and go buy another one. And if you were in rear window and you were James Stewart, it really came in handy for uh, popping. Remember uh, when uh, 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 with Raymond Burr was trying to get him? And it was a dark room, and he had his old flash. He kept flashing. Flash. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Big Whoa. bright wow. light in his bright eyes. Bright light, yeah. Yeah, man. What a... Boy, a different time. That those were those were the good old days, weren't they? They were. I tell you, it reminded me of a trip that we got to go down to Rio de Janeiro some years later, when the phones were coming out, uh, but digital phones. Yeah. But uh, not cell phones. So, or, I mean, digital cameras, not oh, cell phones so much. Cameras. But we were in. The people were at a party, and uh, we, we knew some friends, knew them, and and so we're going to take a picture. They take, here you go. Take a picture of the group. And they all run back to see the picture on the phone. I'm like, well, there's, there's no picture here. Uh, they didn't know. They were younger folks. Uh, and they didn't know how this phone didn't have a, a picture on the a, back of oh it. They were goodness. expected to see a digital picture. No, no. you got to take it to get it developed. You so, just reminded me. i got to uh, send Dylan the picture that I took last night for MZ and Amy's going away uh, party. Yeah. I want to put it on the air before we leave tonight. We had a nice going away ah, party. I didn't know about that. For them like a over nice, at, yeah, over a at nice Ella's yacht, uh, at the Yeah, a nice cruise they're going on. They're going like on a hundred and eleven day cruise. Hundred eleven day cruise. Hundred and eleven days. Wow, that's a long time. Where are they going? Oh, all over the all world. All everywhere. Yeah, right? everywhere. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's amazing. Michael didn't finally sell his station, did he? No. Okay. No. Right. No. But he's going to go cruising. Well, I don't know whether I could be on a cruise that long that's too long for me i mean i'm time. sure they'll stop I think little he was, places but i think he was worried about being on it that long too uh, so you know what i told him charlie yep. i said well if you get bored just get off the cruise ship and get on an airplane come home right that's yeah. easy right yeah that's a long time 
That's you know, time. well, it, I'm going to have him on the show. In fact, I'm going to have he and Amy on the show when they yeah, get back to talk about the cruise. That'd be because that that's yeah. that's a long time to take a cruise, isn't it? It's a third of a year, right? Yeah. Can you believe that? Anyway, is Fantastic. there anything else you want to talk about? Maybe you want to do a pitch <clears throat> for some of a. Uh, our potential advertisers to be on KMBY TV and Me TV. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, you know, if 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 you've got something in a local business, that's what's fantastic about the chase the stations you've got here, and you've got Me TV. Obviously, that's a a, a, a popular audience there, and um, a lot of people seeing that. And you can do local advertising there, and that's a big channel out of people who know out of Chicago, and that's how we all came together. That's uh, right. First, That's how Charlie and I that. found each other. He saw the Me TV sign here on the building at 505 Broadway, and he stopped in and introduced himself to Jim Vossen, who's the executive director of the Seaside Sand City Chamber. And as they say, the rest is history. history. Yeah. Well, and here we are. What uh, is that? Two years ago now? It's it been uh, two it's years. Two years. It's, uh, A couple well, of years. I've been. Uh, well, so I came in even more than two years because you were. You weren't quite around right there. I at wasn't the time. doing you were, the show because well, we started were, doing the show in June yeah, of twenty twenty two. So the beginning of that year, that. right? At, right at the very beginning yeah, of that year yeah. was when I started. Now, I think you came on board when I was back in Atlanta with COVID. That's it. You weren't. Yeah. You weren't around. So I was looking for you. I was. Uh, I was almost on the other side. I know. I know. With COVID, thank God you got. But I, you're back and you're doing great I, I, now. Hey, we're having a ball, aren't we? Having fun. Here? We're having fun. I tell you, it's a lot of fun. I, you know, I wanted to do the radio ad. You know, I wanted to do the. Oh, I went a lot of liquor stores. You know, I got some respect now. But I did that on the radio station instead. But because uh, you were, you were not uh, incapacitated a little bit. I of was time. back there, and in, uh, so in we the might Atlanta still, hospital. We might still do that, but uh, you know, you've Charlie it, does a great in. in in what would impersonation, impersonation, impersonation that's the word of Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney. He's, I tell you, it's rough. I don't know, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know, I have no respect. Uh, I finally got some respect. I uh, told him yeah. you should go to some of these comedy stores, uh, and, and do that, do a Rodney, you know, put the red tie on and, and do Rodney. Well, all you have to do is knock, knock out some of his, his uh, funny lines. And you could be Rodney Dangerfield. Well, you know, bring him back. And then, and a lot of people are just talking with some of the people here in the local entertainment. Well, like our guests here, and um, Patty, and and, yeah. and, and uh, you know her her guy out there, Mike. He he plays. Uh, he's a drummer for Pasquale. Do you know yeah, that? Yeah, Pesquale yeah. Esposito. Yep. And uh, all these yep. guys out here. There's a lot of local entertainment that's coming up and going on. So you know, maybe I'll get up on the on the stage here somewhere we and gotta, try it out. We, 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 we got to get on you road. on stage. You know, I went over to Coralitos the other night to see Richard Stockton's act. He ah, was yeah. one of our okay. guests right, right, on right. the show. And we went, uh, JB and I went over to uh, Coralitos and uh, at the, uh, let's see, El Vaquero. El Vaquero. And it's a wine tasting. It's a, actually a winery there in Coralitos. Love it out there in Coralitos. It's really nice. Steve area. Protus is the one that's turned me on. That's to right. Richard uh, that's Stockton. Right. That's right. And he's a great comedian and uh, had a nice venue there at El Vaquero in Coralitos. See, I get out and around. I mean, you get out and around I a lot. You are a social around. butterfly. You do. I, you, I, you and you support these people. They say, well, "Come see me do this," and you do it. That's how I met Patty. You do it. Met Patty over right? at uh, Sly McFly's when we were right. seeing Zoe Alexander and the Money Band. The Money Band. Zoe, love Zoe. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, a lot of great stuff going yeah. on there, and it's lots lot of, of stuff happening. And people are ready to get out and do it again, right? Charlie, thank you, off. my friend. Thank it's you, been sir. fun. As, As always, always, great to uh, have you on the show. Go sell some more stuff. Let's get out there and sell. I got to. I got to go out and sell. <laughs> and now we're going to turn it over. Tony, to the one, oh, the only, no, Dylan. Dylan, and he's going to play the hot videos of uh, was it twenty twenty three? I guess Dylan and some twenty twenty four. Are any of these I brand have, new? I let's see. I have. Oh, let me turn the mic. So I have. What do you have? Two from twenty twenty four. Oh, and there we I go. have. One from last year, okay. and then the extra one I got was from 2024, but the song came out last year, but All they right. did like a different recording of it. Well, take it away. Let's hear this music from this new group of people. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 